Hey friends, it's week two of Advent, this season of expectation as we wait for the coming of Jesus. And week two means that our second Advent candle will be lit this week on our Advent wreath. Last week we lit the candle for hope. This week we're lighting the candle for peace. And peace is something that everyone seems to be striving for. How many times have you heard people dream, talk about world peace, or at least some sense of a peace of mind in their own little world? And when people talk about having peace, they usually mean that they want all of their conflicts to be settled. They don't want any chaos in their life. Anything that's uncomfortable, that should be gone and far away. Then, only then, can they have peace. But that's not exactly how the peace of God works. In our reading for today, Jesus speaks words of peace to his disciples. He's been talking to them for several chapters, uh, telling them all sorts of things that they might have peace. But nothing about their present circumstance is peaceful. There's been mounting pressure and tension from the Jews and those who seek uh, Jesus' life. In fact, in just another chapter, uh, Jesus is going to be betrayed by one of his own. And Jesus even says to the disciples in this section that they are all about to be scattered. They're going to run and hide. Doesn't sound like peace, does it? But God's peace is not like the peace that this world tries to offer. It's a peace that goes beyond circumstance. It's a peace that can endure troubling circumstance because it knows the ending. It knows that all things will ultimately resolve. And that's the peace that we have. We know the ending. Jesus has told us these things. He's told us how he's going to return in power and in glory and in might. And when he does, he will restore all things. When he returns, all those who follow Jesus, who believe on him, will inherit a kingdom of eternal peace. When you know the ending, you can have peace now. May God grant you his peace as you share, read, talk, pray, and bless together.